Wanaka sorely needs what we have for their population size, but we are beyond that now. And Queenstown needs more than what we have, um, especially as we are growing so fast. How frequently are people, pregnant mothers, transferred out of Queenstown because of a lack of facilities? I don't know the exact numbers. Um, I would, I would guess it's an average of daily, if not more than once a day. Um, of course, there can be a couple of days that go by without transfers happening, but then you might have two or three in a day. Um, so uh, the numbers, I'm sure, are increasing, and the costs of those are increasing. Um, especially as our population here is growing um, so largely in that age of birthing women. Um, what effect do this lack of resources have on pregnant mothers? I mean, obviously it's not ideal, but presumably it's pretty serious in terms of trauma and anxiety. Yeah, I'd say anxiety is um, fairly common. It's people have to make decisions, and they are frustrating decisions. Uh, when you have to consider um, where are you going to be and stay, and how long are you going to be away, and where is your toddler going to stay, who's going to look after them. Um, because for some women, while that might be a day or two days, for other women it might be weeks or even months that they have to be out of town because of the services that we don't have here. Um, and some people need to travel when quickly, when the weather is not conducive to that happening by air. Um, that, that is an extremely stressful thing to consider. Have you been involved with babies being born in an ambulance? Yes, a couple of times. Um, it's not an ideal situation. Um, but when babies come quickly um, in a normal birth circumstance, once they are being born and are born, that is generally, unless they're premature, um, in which case ideally they shouldn't be here, but sometimes premature babies do come quickly extremely early. Um, the babies that are born in ambulances quickly that are term are well and it's fine and we can turn around and come back on some occasions. Um, but th there have been several cases of premature births happening here in Queenstown because of the speed at which they happen. Um, and they've happened in Wanaka as well and we are too far away that those babies really need help quickly um, and they need to have better services here to look after those women and babies. And the closure of Lumsden, that affects Queenstown? Yes, it does. Lumsden was our halfway point that we could pull in um, if we had someone in labour on the road in an ambulance. Um, many women drive by car from Queenstown to Invercargill if they are planning on birthing in Invercargill. And I, I know so many stories, I've had so many women tell me that they planned to go and birth in Invercargill and they realised that they weren't going to make it, so they pulled in and had a baby in Lumsden. Those women now will be birthing on the side of the road by themselves with their husbands in their cars um, unless they are lucky enough to have made the decision to go by air from Queenstown. Um, but that doesn't always happen if everything's well and seems like it's hours away. Um, then people still go by road, whether in an ambulance or by car. Um, Tian now too is hours away from Invercargill as we are. Um, so those women are are even more cut off. And this is all in the context of professional mid midwives like yourself being paid less than minimum wage and sometimes nothing at all. Yeah, when you add it up over a year we have a, a salary that seems um, good and fair, but not if you, add it, if you add up the number of hours that we work, that we are on call, that we cannot leave our phones, um, we can't go out of range. Um, we can't agree to go to things because we're expecting things in the middle of the night on a public holiday. Um, yeah, there are no holiday pay hours or um, there's, there's nothing in place to make the service sustainable at the moment. But it's as low as 7 to $11 an hour when you count every hour? Yes, I can't remember the exact cents, but it's $7 something um, an hour that they worked out in 2018 that a, uh, a rural LMC midwife works. Um, when you add up the hours and all, all that we do, um, the funding model really has to change. <laughs> yeah, a long time ago it needed to change.